Okay, Ben, so what do we know? Can we call it? I don't know. Just curious. While we're at practice, do we do we get word on the election? We don't we don't know anything? Nothing. Okay. Nothing called. There you go. Okay, okay. Good. Bob. Um P, we saw you, you ruled out Chris and uh, Carlos and uh, with, with Chris. Was there the get close to being able to play? I couldn't make it today. Uh, that, today was going to be the day we we try to decide where, where he was, and they didn't feel like it was it was right to bring him out there today. So, uh, so we got to leave him home, take care of him, get get him ready for next week. And with uh, Alex Collins, is he ready to play Sunday if you need him? Or uh, he had a terrific week for us and and uh, was really impressive. We kind of fell right back into the flow of things here, and and we feel very comfortable with him playing. Even though he hasn't been practicing all this time, we feel good about him. He got his head in the right, right place for it. Corbin? Hey, Pete, how close was Shaquille to being able to make it back this week? Has he gotten out of concussion protocol yet, or is this just a hamstring issue? Uh, he, he's really, they didn't have to determine it because his hamstring wasn't ready, as far as I know. So he will get back after it by Wednesday of next week uh, and determine the, the you know where he is about, about the concussion thing. Um, his hammy wasn't ready, so um, we just have to wait it out. Masvida. Hmm. Hey, Pete, I'm just wondering what kind of week uh, DJ Dallas had, and, and what does it do to a player once he starts one game? I'm, I don't know if he's going to start, but having a start underneath his belt, the growth to the second game. You know, there's no question that even during the game, I, I think you could sense his confidence coming to him. Uh, um, just you know, he, he finished off a really good first game um, in, in, on a really good note, scoring late and all that. And, and uh, so he comes back this week. Really, he, he's he's been you know full of full of juice this week. Excited about the chance again, to, to, knowing he, he has the opportunity to play some more. And uh, so it, it does help a guy. You know, really the confidence thing is really the issue. And and uh, he did enough good stuff to come out of there feeling pretty good. And he's looking forward to his next chance. Chris? Yeah, Coach, uh, along those same lines, uh, 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 I guess a, a knock on young running backs is pass protection. Um, how difficult is that transition to the pros for these two young guys that you may be relying on here? Yeah, um, it, it is It is a difficult part of the transition if they hadn't been called on a lot in their college days. This is something that you have to get accustomed to. you got to get used to it. And, and it, it would look like uh, at times when, when guys are first – being called on to pass pro, you know, you, you can, you got to be slow and evaluate it because if they haven't done it, they don't understand that, what it is to strike guys. It's not because of the toughness or, or be, being physical. It's just they have to realize what they can do and still be in, in a good body position to protect. And so I, I found that you have to really be patient in, in evaluating guys on their pass protection. After a while, if a guy continues to have problems, then, he, you know, he may just not be a, a willing participant. But, uh, um, what we've seen from DJ in camp, we tested him out pretty good, and he did a good job. He's had a couple, couple difficult uh, uh, plays at times, but we think he's going to really come around and, be, and do a good job about it. He totally understands the principles. It's not that. Uh, we just got to get him some reps. Curtis? Pete, how was uh, Carlos Dunlap's first week for you, and then what will it mean for you to get Rasheem Green back this weekend as well? Uh, Carlos had a really – a really complete week, you know. He was ready to go right at the beginning of the, of the, the first day in the walkthrough, and he, he had already studied up over the weekend, and uh, stuff came real easy to him. And so he was able to go out and you know play, you know, really clean. Um, that's your concern: is he confused? Does it slow him down? You know, the new system and all. But he, he's played enough ball, and he understands the principles, and they do fit the way he he's liked to play in the past. And uh, so the transition was nothing; it was just, just it was seamless. Um, really looking forward. You know, he's been all lit up and having fun with everybody during the week and trying to figure out how this thing works and, and all. And so uh, he, he's going to be excited to see the the weekend and the build up to the game with our team. And, and I think he's going to, you know, I'm counting on show and do well. Um, Rashim had a fantastic couple weeks here. He's in great shape, um, so he's ready to get out there and play. Um, he worked really hard in, in his rehab return and was in great shape that before we started last week so uh he looks really good brady hey pete how did uh, jamal look this week and do you think you may have to limit his snaps at all sunday no nah, we won't limit him at all he, he, he took everything this week 
uh, as as I was talking about Rashim, he re he reported off of coming off the uh, you know the, the rehab really fit, man. So he looked great this week. He was flying, and uh, I don't see any reason to restrict him at all. And with Alex, just to clarify, do you say that you would feel comfortable playing him if you had to this weekend? Just he's he's in a good enough spot to do that this yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah, he's he's worked hard enough, and and we know him well enough that we're very comfortable with him playing this weekend. John Boyle. Yeah, just to follow up on Jamal, we, we saw the <clears throat> the energy he brings, all that. Just what can he bring to your defense in terms of off the field energy, all this? Yeah, John, he, he's he, he's just like a he's just a fireball, you know. He's got so much juice to him. He plays at such a high level, and he and he you know he it translates to other guys in in in, in giving them confidence, and and he'll pick guys up. Uh, after good plays or after bad plays, he's just got such a positive uh, effect that he's he he's a big factor. He's a big factor. He's a factor when he's not playing. Um, so the fact he's going out there and play some football for us, you know, he's such a good ball player. Um, we're really, you know, I don't know how rusty he'll be or at all, but um, you'll know that he's out there. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be able to feel him on the field. He just makes things happen, and we're really excited about about his return and also about the way we're able to play him and the positions we can put him in. Michael Sean. Hey Pete, is there any concern with long-term injury damage to uh, for Mike's back or Benson's ankle? Uh, you talking about Upati? Mike, Mike yeah, Upati? Yeah. yeah. Um, Mike felt really good. I know uh, yesterday and today. Uh, so you know he's just got to get back out of it. It depends on you know if he can withstand the, the workload when we get back to going. And I, there's a really good chance that he could be doing that next week. And uh, We'll have to see how he responds to see if there's any long-term effects. We don't know that yet. Um, and you also asked about. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, Benson has a high ankle sprain that he's dealing with, and and uh, he thought he was coming along a little bit faster. And the high ankles can sometimes be that you feel okay until you really push and you really try to call on it. And when he when he went after it, um, he wasn't able to, to get back. So we'll we'll wait it out and hopefully uh, you know. You know, through the course of the weekend, getting to, to next week, he, he'll have a chance to get back out. Uh, one more quick thing. Uh, you throw spirals every day at practice. Uh, is that something you work on, and why do you choose to throw with the glove? Well, you know, the, the, the gloves I throw with are really Russell's gloves. And I, 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 use, I started using them a while back uh, because I, I throw so much, I have to catch the ball all the time. It beats the heck, heck out of me. So it really is for catching, not for throwing. But um, I've always been trying to... Uh, proved to Russell that, that the gloves a good thing in case he ever, ever needs it, you know, in wet days and stuff like that. Um, trying to help him, you know, do a little research, and I just kind of got used to him. So, yeah, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you noticing the flight of the ball. I, you know, I, I appreciate that. Uh, is is Russell receptive to using the glove potentially? Not always. <laughs> not not consistently yet. We're working on it. Nico. Uh, thanks. Uh, hey, Pete, I was wondering about uh, Devin Harrison's status and, you know, what have you seen out of him, how much better he's gotten, how much fitter? Yeah, he, he really, like I've been saying, the last two weeks have been his best two weeks by far. Um, this was his best week again on top of last. Um, he's ready to go. We just got to get a spot for him, you know. And Our guys have been doing a nice job, and, and we haven't sat anybody, felt like sitting anybody down yet uh, for him to get up. But he's ready, ready to go. So um, as soon as the opportunity pops, he's, he's going to jump in there. He's, 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 he's looking good. He's worked really hard to get himself in great shape, and, and uh, he's starting to really come around. Tim? It, Pete, a quick follow-up on Damon. Did, considering his history and, and his success in the league, do you have to have a conversation with him about sort of understanding the situation of why he's still on the practice squad at this point? Absolutely. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and, 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 you know, he deserves that, that kind of consideration and all of that. Um, He's he's realized he he really he acknowledged that he needed to to, to work his way back in, and uh, the fact that you know we haven't been able to, we didn't go in pads this week or last week, uh, it's it's hard to make a lot of that that part of the, the progress. But um, so he's just busting his tail to, to make sure that he's in the best shape he can get in, uh, his timing and all of that. It, it, I mean, he's really just looks like he's all but ready. So um, really, just in fairness to the other guys that have been working really hard too and they're healthy and all that, 
you know, we, we really have three guys that, that play in the inside spot, and, and uh, so it's just, it just hasn't quite popped yet. It's a long season. We've got a lot, a lot of games yet. And then a quick follow-up on Chris. Did he have any sort of setback that led to the decision not to have him go today? No, no, he, not, you know, he didn't because he hadn't been able to do enough to really have a setback. Um, you know, he's got a sore foot, and we got to make sure he gets through it. And he, for other positions, it might not be a big deal, but in particularly the way Chris runs, you know, he pounds his breaks and his cuts and all, and, and uh, he's got to have it all there to, to, to play in style. So um, we just got to wait it out. Bob? Yeah, th one more. Uh, but Ugo Amadi, is, is, is he going to be close to getting back next week? or? Um, it'll, by Wednesday, Thursday, you know, we'll, we'll be able to know where he is. Um, it's a really important weekend for him, and he needs to, you know, make the progress. He feel, he's feeling good, um, but not able to go full speed yet. So Wednesday, Thursday really will be important. And you made the decision this week, obviously, Luke Wilson, kind of a numbers game with Parkinson coming back and all of that. But is there, is there any chance we maybe haven't seen the exact last of Luke in Seattle at all? Or? I would love to see Luke back. Yeah, I, I love him on our team. Anything else? Thank you. See you guys.